What's up guys, welcome back and to new viewers, welcome to the channel. I just finished moving, which you might have noticed from the whole new backdrop, which means that video uploads will return to normal from here on out. However, this doesn't mean development has been stagnant, quite the contrary. The team has been working hard in the background to continue development for our GPS solution. One of the developments I'm excited to share with you guys, which if you read the title of the video, you might have already guessed, is the case we built for the prototype of our GPS unit, or as we call it, the navigation companion. Over the last few weeks, we've been having several meetings with our new team member Darius to establish the design for the case of the prototype we're developing. This resulted in this beautiful schematic, which we posted on our Reddit a few days ago, which you should check out for more sneak previews into our development. But we'll go over the schematic in a minute, as I first want to zoom in on a key component, namely the hardware we'll be developing on. So, some quick context for new users. For the development of our open source motorcycle GPS, we want to create a prototype to test the feasibility of our solution first. When researching the options we had available, we had to take into account the deadline we set to fully develop this prototype, the amount of development time each option costs, and the amount of development time each option costs. This was easier done for the application, or as we call the navigation engine, as we had already an idea how the architecture was going to look like, and which features we wanted to develop into our prototype. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, we had over the early version of our application in our previous video. Check it out if you haven't yet. So contrary to the application, the hardware proved a bit more of a challenge due to the larger amount of approaches we could have taken. We could have gone for a more compact development board such as the Vamos D1 or the Raspberry Pi Pico. However, that would result in longer development time as we would have to build everything from scratch which is something we didn't want for the prototype. After researching several options, we found that many smartwatches match the criteria of what we were looking for in a prototype. At first, we want to use the Pine64 as our hardware prototype, as its low-level RTOS-based firmware came close to what we eventually want to develop. However, as we found out, it lacked the necessary sensors such as the three-axis magneto, such as the three-axis magnetometer. Magnetometer. Which is the thing that allows the device to work like a compass and orientate based on the angle you're looking at. Which is kind of an essential component if you're trying to develop a GPS unit. Furthermore, developing the necessary elements in its RTOS-based firmware would take a significant amount of development time due to the slow level nature, which again is something we don't have at this stage of development. This continued to be the case until I stumbled upon the Bengal JS2. This smartwatch is an open, hackable smartwatch with coincidentally all the components and sensors necessary for GPS navigation. In addition, it has its own JavaScript interpreter, allowing you to install or develop your own apps using JavaScript, which in our case allows us to set up the firmware for the prototype in a short amount of time. We do have to note that we aim to develop a low-level RTOS-based firmware for the final release, as this allows us to assure fast performance, low power consumption, and most of all, a long battery life. I also want to make clear that we are not sponsored by Pure or Pure 3. I don't know how to pronounce the company name. If you guys are watching this, please tell us down in the comments below to talk about the Bangle Yes. We just found a cool project to use as the basis for a prototype and a cool gadget to share with you all. In addition, I have had a great customer support experience with them after the first Bangle they sent got damaged during transport and quickly got set on replacement. But enough about the hardware, as I've kept you guys waiting long enough before getting to the essence of what you eventually could be holding in your hand. So, as stated, before, we've been designing the case for the prototype. The design you see here is the latest iteration and consists of four main pieces. Namely, the glass cap, the watch cap, the smartwatch itself, and the watch holder. One of the key things we took into the design was for it to be able to be water and dust resistant, as both here in the northern countries like the Netherlands and countries with a more tropical climate are known for their harsh bouts of rain. This is why the design has these interlocking ridges, allowing for sturdy hold and making it hard for water to get in. On the topic of sturdiness, in its current iteration, the prototype has quite a sturdy, but also a bit bulkier design, then we aim for in the final iteration due to the smartwatch being used as the prototype's hardware. Eventually we want to make the design a lot sleeker whilst maintaining its quality. However, I do see the possibility here to have an additional sturdier, although bulkier version alongside a sleeker final iteration that could be a better fit for dirt bikes or, or people who are more into extreme motorsports. At the moment, this is still an idea, but let us know down in the comments below if this idea sounds interesting to you guys. And who knows, we might actually make it. One last thing I want to mention is the possibility for customization this design opens up. We're thinking of allowing the possibility for you guys to customize the colors or apply custom teams to watch cap. This is something we eventually want to work into the design of the final release as this lines up with what we aim for with our open source nature. Namely for you guys to not only be able to use it to navigate, but for the possibility for you guys to be able to make it your own. And that brings us to the end of our video. Leave a like, subscribe to keep up to date with the development of the project. Let us know what you guys think of the idea of a version for dirt bikes. And most importantly of all, thank you for watching.